Carlos Sanchez, everybody. Yeah. Uh, coming up next to the stage is a guy who goes by one name. Davis, everybody. Welcome to the stage with your hands. That was his hand. I have a last name, he just doesn't know it. That's... We don't, we're bad friends. That's, that's all that there is to it. We only care about ourselves. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't think I'll ever be famous. Uh, I think that's, that goes for most of us down in this basement. Uh, but I do know how to connect myself to Kevin Bacon in one step, and that is handcuffs. That's, uh, I, I'm sure you could tell that I got bullied a lot as a kid, um, <laughs> and I, uh, I actually ran into a bully like on the river walk one day, and I was with my girlfriend. And I was like, "Oh man, that guy, that guy used to like kick the shit out of me. Like, I'm gonna go talk to him. I'm gonna get in his face." And like, like I was kind of being an asshole here because like I got self righteous and stuff, and I just like got up and I started yelling at him, I'm like, yeah, you used to treat me bad, you used to push me around, and guess what, now I make more money than you ever will, and he's like, give it to me, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, here, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna fuck with that, <laughs> my girlfriend gets mad that I get her in dangerous situations like that, and, like, <laughs> 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 oops, sorry, <laughs> like, yeah, it's not the first time I've been robbed, I actually got robbed, uh, waiting for the bus uh, at SAC, but it wasn't like a real robbery. Like I was on the phone and like I hung up the phone, and this guy came up and he asked if he could use it. And he's like, I gotta call my dad or something. And I was like, so I just like told him, I'm not gonna fall for that because I know you're gonna just run away with my phone. He then pulls out a gun from his jacket and says, Will you fall for this? <laughs> Which, like, kudos to that guy for fucking, like, a movie line just right out. Just, you gonna fall for this? And, like, I got scared and I had to catch my breath until I realized, like, he, it had the orange dot. Like, he pulled a fake gun on me. So he was actually being honest when he said, you gonna fall for this? He was, he was so full of shit. He tried to rob me with a cap gun. And so, like, at that point, the adrenaline just ran so bad that I just, like, screamed at his face and started barking, like, DMX at him. And he was like, oh, my God, get out of And, like, he freaked out and ran away. But there was these three black dudes sitting at the bus stop with me, and they just start laughing at me. Like, yeah, okay, you guys aren't going to help me, but, like, like, I'm just shaking, and then, like, I realize, oh, yeah, that was a completely ridiculous cartoon situation that you guys just witnessed. And as I'm laughing, I then throw up my entire Quizno sub just, like, all over the ground. And, like, of course, they just laughed more. Just the whole, the whole bus ride from uh, downtown to SeaWorld. It was, it was a very long, fun ride of them laughing at me for being a pussy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I still I get picked on by the goth girl at my work and <laughs> it's bad like she calls me a nerd but then she's like let me buy some of your Harry Potter Legos that you have I'm like no I'm not gonna part with those like stop <laughs> don't pick on me and like she was saying how she can't she could never be a camp counselor because uh, like she doesn't like being half asleep and you, you always have to sort of like be aware that these kids are getting up in the middle of the night. And I was like, well, don't you just like sleep during the day anyways, hanging upside down? And she immediately barked back at me, yeah, only when the coffins, and, or only when the sheets of my coffin are dirty, you asshole. So she beat me on cleverness right there. But like I beat her at gothness because the other day somebody called my phone. It was the wrong number. They were looking for Lenore. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. No, you've got the wrong number. And I told her, yeah, they were looking for Lenore. So that call was from beyond the grave. I went at goth. That's all there is to it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I have a kid, and that's a scary thought. But uh, I thought I was ready to have a kid. Like, I didn't have him as a teenager. Like, I, I waited till I had, could grow a full mustache, which just... Me thinking that's the only qualification to be a dad shows that I'm going to be a horrible father. 
But he's like a little geek like me, and uh, I was joking around that um, we can have a moon landing themed birthday party. Better RSVP because space is limited. And he's like, no, Dad, space is actually infinite, never growing. And I'm like, Shut up, just give me one <laughs> moment of happiness. You've taken six years away. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I'm Davis Aris. Have a good night. everybody keep it going right. Woo! we got two more comics first up to the stage put your hands together for